everyone, thanks again for joining me on Seward for Good. Today I'm talking about waterproofing failures and what to do. Now, regardless of how long you've been in the industry, how good your work is, how fantastic a product you're using, even if you're using the group set systems, somehow, somewhere, sometime, there's gonna be someone calling you with a waterproofing failure and it could be a perceived failure. And more often than not, that's exactly what they are. Now, sometimes the blame is on the contractor, the workmanship, sometimes it's on the product, and then also it's on the construction. Somewhere on the line, there's a, a reason why something's failed. And sometimes you'll find there's a leak and it actually isn't even anything to do with the work you've done because where water comes from or where you see the water is not always where it comes from. That's the key and many of you would know that. But the steps where it goes wrong is there's a perceived failure and that's all it is at the start. And you've got to try and track and find that. And that's where it compounds because the work that's done towards trying to find where that failure comes from can sometimes undo the work that actually hasn't failed. And then you find you've got other issues. Now, before you do any work on a perceived failure, my position on this is you should get a professional to help you get an independent report. Now, if it's something simple, that you know that went wrong with the waterproofing application, and this is potentially before the job is completed, like a shower that's been waterproofed, it's been flood tested, and it's failed, that's an easy one to fix. You don't need an independent report for that. But let's talk about situations when the construction's complete. It could be a bathroom, a shower, a balcony, a deck, a rooftop, a planter box. Before you go and start digging away and attacking the membrane and doing repairs, get an independent report because there could be things involved from a perspective of construction that could have impacted the waterproofing or it could be nothing to do with you. It could be a plumbing issue. It could be a structural problem. And an independent building report will always guide to understand that. And there's some really good consultants out in the market that know their stuff. They can come out there and guide. Now you might go, that's gonna cost me. Well, it's gonna cost you a lot more if you find that you're doing work that wasn't your problem and you're fixing it. just to try and broaden my knowledge in, in the industry and with the vision of hopefully trying to build something for myself with my own waterproofing business and yeah, I thought this was a great way to, to get in. Uh, just to get a better insight into waterproofing in general. So yeah, as a builder, I think that's something uh, we tend to neglect and to, uh, just to get a better understanding of what to use, how to use and just get the basics down. part is you should always contact your supplier or manufacturer of the product you've used. Let them know because they would have come across this many times before and sometimes you might think you're the only person out there with this problem but they may be aware of it and many of the better manufacturers with their technical departments that know their stuff like our team will be able to guide you on some tips and hints on what to do and look out for before you go and spend money but understand then what might need to happen in the remedial phase when you get to that stage, if it is found that it is a waterproofing problem. And this is why we try and encourage situations where you can preempt all these and work with a program like our GAP program where you've got a back-to-back -back warranty to avoid specific issues when they might come up. Because it's actually, prevention, as you know, is far better than cure. So if you're fixing a failed job, don't go out there on your own. Make sure that before you start doing that, you've spoken to the builder, Understand what's happened. Have you got records of the job? Have you got photos? Did you do a flood test? Ask all the questions. If you know that what, the way you left that job was waterproof, then you need to engage the builder and potentially some of the after trades that have been involved. And that's where the questions come in. That's why it's always good to have a building consultant with you. But don't dive in and start ripping things apart and fixing them because I've seen so many contractors rip out shower bases, fix up balconies, waterproof, retile, and the same things occurred, only to find out after two or three goes of it, it's not even a waterproofing issue, it's a structural problem. So before you do anything, get something in writing, follow those procedures, and ensure, don't run away from the problem, discuss it with your client, because you being the professional and the expert will give more confidence to your client when they build the next home or the building. And if you'd like to know more about being an expert, 
you can inquire about the GAP program. But more importantly, if you just need general advice on this, ask any of our team, we'll get to our tech services department and we'll help guide you the way. Until next time on Silver Good, see you then.